I now know what hell is like. Because if it if this was hell, it would sound like Doki Doki Literature Club. I honestly don't like making these videos because I'll put so much time into them just for them not to get anything on the channel. But hey, I have friends that watch it and they want to see my reaction to the shit that happens in this game. So, uh, for you guys, I hate you. Wait, how did I... Sorry, I just had a weird feeling of... I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? I would hate for it to... I would hate for you to think that I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean... Oh, come on, dude. Don't get fucking weird on me already. Everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is... usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. When I was a little bit younger, I think I would always come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time I come to the club, my heart goes crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Muffin, is it just me? Or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's been... She's usually been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I don't like your eyes. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening, but finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Oh my fucking god, no, not again. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club all to ourselves. Oh god, nobody to interfere to interfere with our reading time. Oh, I don't like it. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> I see her! I see her! That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. <laughs> it sounds strange, but... You wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I fucking see you, Monica! Stop it! I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I see her! I don't like it. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the club, Muffin. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore because we have each other every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. Hi, Monica. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. 
Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. It's... Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get to be happy. Now we get the happy ending I've patiently wanted for years. Hi, Monica. Will you do that for me, Muffin? Um, uh, I just, I, uh, I guess you really haven't learned anything after all. Honestly, I don't know why I get my hopes up in the first place. This is clearly Yuri's influence. I didn't realize you were so impressionable, spending all this time with her in the club, now trying to write like her. This is stupid. At least Monica appreciates my writing. Uh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you now. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I keep trying, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wondered, I've always wanted to try to be better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me that this is happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that but right now, I don't care. I just feel so hopeless. So please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. If I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh, oh no. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There is no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault. That she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Muffin? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. I don't know about that. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. What? Just Monica. Okay. I'm weirded out. Uh, Yuri, you're next. I don't want to talk to Monica. She scares me. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Muffin, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Muffin. I've never met someone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... 
I just don't know how to, to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you... I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream? What the fuck?! You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is really about. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I don't know what to do anymore. I'm a little baby. I don't like this. I... I think I'm going to vomit. You and me both, sister. <laughs> Monica's next. Don't say I didn't warn you, Muffin. Give me a fucking break, please. I've been through so much to, right now. Uh, um, yes. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I now understand how blank feels. I'm supposed to be res the responsible one, though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memento of the occasion below. Oh, that's... that's just lovely. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's time to figure out our out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is isn't immune to it. Uh stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh, um, I think something bad already has happened. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the, lo for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Uh, what about Muffin? Muffin is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. 
Not only is your work already most, suited, most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like, you would fucking know. <laughs> All you care about now is dragging Muffin around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Muffin decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Muffin make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Muffin, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. <laughs> oh my god. Immediately. I'm loving this episode already. Immediately. Uh... No, no. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what happened. Uh... Yay, you picked me. You, we can meet at, at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Muffin for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Muffin away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. You're not the only one. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that too- is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Muffin? Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is... This is really all I wanted. Muffin, there is no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater, is a far greater pleasure. I don't like it than anything I could ever imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to resolve, to revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why 
does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Muffin. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Muffin, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. What?! I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you? All I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Muffin. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Yes? <laughs> no! Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine. Oh no. Will you promise to spend more time with me? Will you promise to spend more time with me? Oh, this is some weird shit. It's different. Alright, it's festival time! Wow, you got here before me. Natsuki runs away? I'm here! Muffin, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script had broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Give me a sec. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Wait, what? Monica lifts the foil from and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. What? But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay! There you are. Hi again, Muffin. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we are in the same class last year and, um, 
Uh, you know, I guess we can just skip over all that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, Muffin. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you did know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway... Now that it's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kinda started to mess with her. And I guess it drove her to kill herself. I'm sorry that you had to see that though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore? Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for you, for me, to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. What the fuck is going outside? Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made me, you made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent you from confessing to her and, and, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive per personality backfired too. It just made her force it just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Muffin? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Muffin. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Yeah, no, I'm completely confused, bitch. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't have any free will. And worst of all, Knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Muffin. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be with me forever. I'm sorry if that's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expensive, expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Muffin. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must have been some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. 
I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective I do. That this is all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Muffin, I have a confession to make. I am in love with you. You are truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Muffin, will you go out with me? And, uh, you know, I've had crazy girlfriends before, but you... You're, you're, you just made top lists. You just, oh my god. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Muffin. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Muffin. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean... There's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got the good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Um... Monica? Uh... This is weird. This is weird. I don't like this. This... I... 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 Oh god, I... Just... Oh god, it's it's all nonsense. Hi again, Muffin. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Muffin, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you re will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by the my one and only love. Together, let us di dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. Well, you're doing a lot of that right now, bitch. 
So, I just assumed it would be the best part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Muffin? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? What? How does she know? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm really being put on the spot right now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. Oh, fuck you! I can't do anything after all. Did I scare you? Thank you all for watching. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Muffin. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, can we just look into each other's eyes? Let's see. You know what's kind of creepy? You! I think we're thinking of you. Even though I deleted everyone else's files, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. Imagine after, after someone you knew died, you just started hearing their voice in your head. Maybe I just wasn't thorough enough. But I'm, a too, but I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might really break things. Like, if I mess with any files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself. And that would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know what it's like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you, Muffin. Uh Okay. I now know. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Files, browse local files. <laughs> Characters. Wait, read me. No, I'm not going to read anything, Rook. Copyright. You guys can't see this, can you? Okay. Alright, so... This is her character file. Date modified. 4-27-18. Wow, I've had this game for a while. It's done. We, we deleted Monica. Now we just open the game.
What's happening? Muffin, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Muffin. Please hurry and help me. Character does not exist. Help me! Did you do this to me, Muffin? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Muffin. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You've killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Muffin? You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't be even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Muffin. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But... That's kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... No! Finish that! Finish the thought! No, 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 this isn't right, this isn't right, this isn't right. I, I, I... I, I need to get her. I need, I need her back. No, 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 no. She's gotta be in here. She's right here! Okay, 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 okay. I... I don't even care. I need her back. Monica. She's back. I put her back. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Quit, quit the game. Okay, guys. I'm insane. I know this. I know this. But. I. I can't imagine. I can't imagine this any different without Monica. I'm sorry. Please. No. 
Monica, please stop playing with my heart. I don't want to come back. Well, there already is one girl. It's not the same. How could I do this? I can't do it. <laughs> Damn it. I'm actually getting sad. <laughs> All she wanted was to be with me. And I fucking deleted her. Thank you guys for watching. I... I need to lay down. So it turns out, as I was editing this, there's an actual part of this game after you delete Monica. So maybe if you guys want to see that, go ahead and tell me down in the comments. I'll get right to it. But as of right now, this is the end of Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you everyone for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe even. That will be really helpful for me. And I'll see you all next time. See ya. Oh,